This Christmas is gonna be a I hope peace and joy will be with you. We can't go out caroling, but joyfully we can sing and hold in our hearts times of cheer. Hello, everyone, everywhere. My name is Douglas Jenkins. And I'm Tyrone Hendricks. And welcome to the Portland Cello Project Virtual Sweater Extravaganza. <laughs> yes. We've got, a, we've got a wild show planned for you tonight. We're trying to take our annual holiday tradition virtual. We've got guests that are going to be joining us. We're going to be mixing some live performances with some pre-recorded things um, and just have the big mixture that we usually have. Folks are joining us from all over the country from Anchorage to, well, out of the country too, from Berlin as well. We'll have Asha with us, Momentum Dance Collective, Catmore, Maya Wynn, and all the cellists you know and love, Nancy Ives, Diane Chaplin, Skip Von Kusky, Gideon Freudman, Valdi Mishkin, Kevin Jackson's here, Lauren McShane's here, I, Skip's here, everybody's here. So we're going to we're gonna do a show. That's yes. the thing. We're yeah. going gonna to have a blast. And most of all, we're just happy that you are here to join us tonight for this, uh, for this program. Um, you mean, normally we would be on stage you know, due to the unfortunate situation of COVID, we've had to cancel a couple of, you know, major shows that would have been going on at this time. But other than that, we are thankful that you are here. You're with your families. You're enjoying yourself. And we just want you to sit back, relax and enjoy yourself. And, uh, you know, with, from this virtual concert and just, um, you know, let us know where you're at, how you're feeling, you know, sit the comments, put the comments on here. We're going to get back at you and just let you know how everybody is doing. First off, I'm just happy just to, being here at Doug's house, we here got the big lava lamp in the back. You know what I'm saying? We we making things happen. You know, we got some little, we got uh marshmallows, we got graham crackers, you know, little Hershey, you know, which I know about that. Y'all don't know about that right there. But yeah, we're gonna be just we just gonna have a blast. So uh yeah, I think we got some more special guests. We got a couple of the, the, the next generation of PCP joining us to join us this evening, the kiddos. So next generation, yes, the next yes. generation. We um 
we were yeah you know i was thinking like so i i have a daughter she's three and a half and she plays the cello she practices really really hard and um and she 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 learned a song all by herself that she wanted to play for you all tonight she it's um she she did it totally by ear i didn't help at all there was no she didn't ask me like for bowings or like am i playing in tuner she just learned it all herself and she played it and and she wanted you all to hear it tonight so this is something i'm just i'm very proud and um she she played it for me and and my first thought when i heard it was that's interesting <laughs> and and i was thinking back to 10 years ago when portland cello project did our first tour we we opened up for a guitar player named buckethead a heavy metal guitar player and i was thinking that's probably what that audience thought of us they probably thought hmm, that's interesting <laughs> and so this is the perfect for i guess you know opening band material so let me see if i can find it here for you this is this is audra audra jenkins playing i want a hippopotamus for christmas hippopotamus for Live hey. in person. So I put that video together and it was really fun. And I just want to kind of celebrate the fact that this year was a year where everybody learned new things and exciting skills. And I like making things, whether it's a crocheted pot holder or a video. And so I learned how to make videos this year. And I'm really proud of that. Like COVID silver lining for exactly. Diane. It's exactly, exactly. So nice. So nice. I'm going to yeah. bring Kevin in here too. Perfect. Kevin. Hey. Kevin, Kevin and I have something in common on this broadcast. We're only playing on one song. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> and that was Kevin's. So Kevin, how are you doing too? So Diane has a silver lining. What's 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 going on with you? Uh I mean, I also have spent a lot of time learning new little tricks. I got to put together a friend's uh I guess guitar singing recital also on video, which was fun. So yeah, nice, learning nice. a whole new things do, do both of you just wish you were just playing cellos right now though i mean it's easier than talking <laughs> isn't it <laughs> yeah, that's what i was thinking tonight too <laughs> kevin kevin I, I i thought you would have been like a stand-up comedian right now man i mean your jokes are like hilarious you're like this like a natural funny guy so you know 
I, I figured you'd be picking up comedy during this COVID time. <laughs> I want to see Kevin do stand up. Yeah, he could do it. Yeah. I've seen him take over a crowd Jeez, by himself. What? Yeah. We we've, yeah. we've had things happen on stage and give it to Kevin and Kevin just takes over. Yes. Kev Kevin sings Taylor Swift on stage if you haven't seen us perform before. So it's quite impressive. <laughs> live, live TV, Kevin. <laughs> I, know, I know. I I had to do a little reset because I couldn't hear Tyrone. I was just getting the whole static thing. But all right, no. He was um he was saying really witty things. It was good. <laughs> oh, I'm sure, as Tyrone always does. <laughs> oh. We have with us as well tonight Gideon Freudman. Gideon. Hello. Gideon. Gideon. Where hey, where are you right now? Uh, I'm in a, my secret undisclosed lair. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us where it is? It's it's uh it's nine feet away from Dick Cheney. That's all I can tell. Oh you. lord! <laughs> no, I'm a, I'm in Portland. I'm in southeast Portland. Nice. Nice. Kevin, where are you? I don't recognize that backdrop. Did you make a special backdrop just for the show? Oh Did no! I? He might. Yeah. Are you having text? He, he made a special backdrop for the video, though. I don't know, know if you noticed he had like oh, no. a very beautiful wall of <laughs> lights behind him. I have I an idea <laughs> since we're seeing things freeze over here. Yeah, we're going to try to switch over to just Gideon to play his next piece. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I, I that was the first of what I expect will be many technical difficulties this evening. It happens. Goes. <laughs> it happens. But we, we, we're going to we're going to muscle our way through it. That's what we do. I just want to say I thought it was really great that Tyrone was talking about Kevin's stand-up comedy genius, and then Kevin, who couldn't even hear, still got the last laugh. Which <laughs> that's kind of just how things. That's how it goes. Are, that, that is. That's, that's Portland like... Chella Project in a nutshell. <laughs> Thanks. All right, Gideon, what are you going to play for us? Um, I I'm going to play a, a tune that I just learned. It's called I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are you going to play it by ear? <laughs> no, I, I, I went rushed over to my notation program and uh, I just need to work on that new technique that. Um... <laughs> yes. <laughs> soul, 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 tasto. That's what that is. <laughs> soul, very tasto. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to play a tune called Noblesse Oblige, which was a title that I got from a short story by P.G. Woodhouse, which had nothing to do with cello and really nothing to do with this piece of music. But it was just seemed like such a good title. It worked for him. I thought it might work for me, too. All right, let's do it. Thanks, Gideon. Take it away.
I love the cymbal hit. <laughs> yes. More of that. That More was that. nice. I wanted to get a, I'd like to get a tutorial from you later uh, about the best way to hit that cymbal. Uh, it, hey, it was perfect the way you landed, the, the way you landed in there when you went to the, uh, what, 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 what's the dark, 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 the, the strumming? Yeah, no, I didn't went to the little, um. Oh, yeah, what's that oh. not cello called? This is a, this is a melodica. Melodica. I like it. But I think the not cello is a good a good word for it too. That's that's what I call all other instruments. I just want to. I don't, I don't want to be all show offy, but I want to show Tyrone this one other symbol technique I've been working on. Show it to me. Oh, hey, all right. Uh, I mean, yeah. I'm I'm still a beginner, but I, I think there's potential. Oh, oh no, that was great. I got I got to learn that technique. I have not I have not uh, shown that one off in uh, public yet. So that's a new one that's coming out 2021. Yeah. It's happening. Right. Oh, wait. <laughs> that gave me shivers, and shivers don't come easy. That was good. Thanks, Gideon. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. That was fun. Hey, so everybody, we really appreciate it. If you already have, we appreciate it. But if you haven't yet, please share, share this stream. stream. Share it. Stream. Stream. Yes. <laughs> share it. Um, it, it share this stream. <laughs> Thanks, Nancy. <laughs> in our world of uh, where PR is such a different thing right now, you 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 hold all the PR power in your hands, and it really helps us if you do that. So please share the stream with your friends and loved ones, um, wherever you're listening from. Um, thanks, Gideon. That was that was wonderful. Thank you, sir. As Thank always, you. it's really good to see you. Um, Me too. We're gonna, and we'll see. I think we'll see you in a little bit again. And right now, though, we've got Nancy Ives. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Doug. Hi, Tyrone. Hi, Nancy. How, how, how have you been doing uh, during these times? Like, what's something new that you have uh, that you didn't know you had, like a talent or something like that you didn't know you had, but during this COVID, now you know it's, it's come out, like something different. This. Oh, my gosh. Well, I, I thought that when I had enough time, I would get all organized. So I found out I have a talent for being disorganized <laughs> because I'm still not organized. <laughs> We have this in common. Same, yeah, same thing here. Yeah. But I, I'm getting to do more of all the things, you know, like make I I did, you know, track down some yeast and start trying to make gluten free bread. I mean, nice a puppy. Nice. <laughs> Where, where's your puppy right yeah. now? Because every the... time I've chatted with you in the past, the puppy is right there, and you know he's there. He's you married. know he's there. I know. No, he. I also got engaged, and the puppy is with the pizza. Con congratulations! I, I know that's the last thing you mentioned. Congratulations! Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm just entirely too happy for a pandemic. Nice. <laughs> well, silver linings, right? That's yes. great. It's so good to see you. Um, what are you going to play for us right now? Oh, well, you know, one of the themes of the season is this, um, the solstice, right? Yesterday was the winter solstice. And yes. um, there's a piece by Philip Glass called Orbit that I'm going to play. And he's he um, says that it's about the way things come back and return. And I, I do love the way it evokes this idea of the, you know, you know, though, the we have this conjunction right now of Jupiter and Saturn. They're so close together. Not that we get to see it here in Portland. <laughs> yeah, we aren't getting to see it here in Portland by any means. No. <laughs> that happened. Well, it's up there. And, you know, the way the, uh, the celestial bodies in the heavens move so that things like that happen and we can predict it. There's all these cycles and things that return and spin and wheel around. And uh, this piece evokes that. Nice. Sounds great. So We're looking orbit. forward to hearing Nice. Thanks, Nancy. Yes. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
We're going to jump in because it sounds like Nancy got muted. Is that right? Hey, Kevin, I can see your face clearly. Can you nod if that's the case? Kat, you look like you're shaking your head and Lauren's saying yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Hey, Nancy, can you hear me okay? You got you got muted and I can't unmute you from over here. How long was that happening? Like at least three hours. It was. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear any of the piece? We heard we the beginning the and we were like, hours. I was getting all into it and I was grooving with it. And then it was like, thanks, COVID. <laughs> so. Yeah, no joke. How did that even happen? I, That's I, crazy. I blame. Um, I, I don't know. It's fine. It's what it is. I don't know. <laughs> I blame the, the weather. I think the weather in Portland was like, you know, you can't, you're not allowed to see this orbit this year. <laughs> 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 yep, that's got to be what it is. I think oh my weird. gosh. Well, um, how far back should I go? I think, I think you should just play the piece because it's amazing. And yes. it's one of those pieces I feel like you got to groove with. So folks at home, I know it's really hard to groove with the, internet live streams and stuff sometimes but this one is worth it so take a deep breath and we're, we're yeah, just gonna start wanna... it again it's what we would do in a concert hall and it's Good point. and this one is worth it this is a beautiful beautiful piece so and it's so much about how the things return yeah you know? so you nice. want to hear what's going to return <laughs> let's do it let's do it <laughs> thank you right. orbit by philip glass not muted <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
sounded great thank you so much sounded nancy. so great nancy so great oh thanks so much it's so nice to have applause <laughs> oh, yeah. applause of two yes <laughs> well we will we'll see you again pretty soon is is what's going on here so thank you so much thanks okay um yeah. all right everybody nancy ives principal cellist of the organ symphony we don't usually get to play with her this much like covid that's been a silver lining for us usually during the whole year she's too busy with symphony and we get to play with her in the summer but yeah it's been really nice um if you haven't already please share the stream with your friends and loved ones on your social networks share um, the stream share, share the stream share, share it the stream that's <laughs> the mantra of the day um we have so okay a couple of years ago when tyrone hendrick started playing drums with portland cello project we did our first tour um mm -hmm. it was a west tour through you know southwest coast utah montana all that stuff and um we had with us a special guest named maya win and today is her birthday and she's happy birthday a, happy birthday she's turning you <laughs> might not know it by looking at her when you see this but she's she's actually turning 49 today 49 so one more year oh. and you're over the hill maya so <laughs> Just, uh, you know, that's coming. Um, anyway, we are going to play a piece that uh, it's a video that Maya made with Skip, uh, special for the season. It's called Feels Like Christmas. Here you go. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for having me, Portland Cello Project, on your wonderful Christmas live stream. I'm wearing my Christmas hat. <laughs> and it's my birthday, so I couldn't think of a better way to spend my birthday than to be here on this wonderful stream with you guys. Um, and this is an original Christmas song. I'm really happy to have Skip here playing some cello with me and some jingle bells to bring you some Christmas cheer. Um, so this is Feels Like Christmas. <laughs>
Yes, that was that was Maya Wayne and Skip. Feels like Christmas. Yes. So we are back again. This my name is Tyrone Hendricks, and I'm joined by Douglas Jenkins of the Portland Cello Project. And we want to welcome you to the Portland Cello Project virtual sweater extravaganza. So if you haven't uh shared this stream with family and friends, please hit a button, hit that share button and you know, co connect it to some more people. You know, share. we want to we want to know what's going on with you. Share the stream. Share the stream. Share the stream. So we're gonna bring up Lauren and Skip right now. So Lauren usually plays cello with Maya, and we just wanted to. I know that some people after seeing that video might not believe that Maya had just turned forty nine, almost fifty, <laughs> and we just we're bringing up Lauren to confirm that information, right, Lauren? No. Oh. No, I cannot oh. confirm. Oh. Cannot confirm. After 51? many road trips we've taken together, I've learned <laughs> of Maya's wisdom and age, but I, I can't speak to it oh, tonight. Okay. All right. So you neither confirm nor nor deny. Correct. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lulu, how you been? Tyrone. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. I've good, been missing good. you guys a lot. Oh, we miss you. We miss you too. You know, like I said, we would normally be performance somewhere right now or be on the be in a sprinter bus ride mm -hmm. through some snow or you know or, or the one infamous time up in uh what was that wyoming where the power went out where everybody's in the hot tub and the hot tub <laughs> the oh hot that, tub that was so fun that was a good oh, night man. that was a great night that was the night that the prince show came about we were in the hot tub yes that was and right tyrone was telling us stories about performing with prince <laughs> and what it was like his artistic process and with Liv Warfield and a lot of good stories about that. And mm -hmm. we were like, why don't we do a Prince show? Yeah. And turns like, yeah. And then we did it. <laughs> I, I didn't have much of a story. Were we were we listening to Prince? It wasn't it from like we watched some of Tyrone's original videos and then we're like, yeah, we should just do something like that. I think what's what the one was the Liv Warfield. Yeah, we showed uh, oh, right. Jimmy Fallon. The Jimmy oh, Fallon yeah. show. Yeah. Right, so right. If, you, if you go Go Google Live Warfield, Jimmy Fallon, and then you'll see Tyrone playing drums. And the video, the live performance is completely off the hook. Adrian Crutchfield is in yes. there too, who plays sax with us up in Alaska on our last show. And um, yeah, Saida Wright. Saida Wright. Yeah, Saida was in there too. performing with us. So yeah, the, it was a yeah one of one of the most uh, epic musical nights of my uh, career. So, so if our stream crashes again, and it will. Um, you know, <laughs> go Google Liv Warfield, Jimmy <laughs> Fallon, and put, put Tyrone Hendricks in there just for fun. <laughs> all you see is a, you saw, all you see is a ball here. That's all you'll see. <laughs> no, we get some good shots here. Hey, Skip, you're muted, man. You're muted. Can you unmute yourself? Where are you at? I am at Dante's. Can you hear me? Skip just said he is at Dante's. Can everybody hear him? Yes. I feel like I want to talk to the audience and ask that and hear yeah. something like, Woo! <laughs> so, 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 audience, if you comment, back to, comment, it. Not, uh, comment back to us and let us know what's happening. You know, if something's yeah. weird happening, just let us know so we can get on it. So, yeah. Hey, Kevin. Kevin. Kev Kevin does a good woo, too. That's why I brought him in. Oh, but we can't hear him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just get back on the stage, please? <laughs> All right, well, Skip, Skip is on the stage, That's and he's at Dante's. I see David Langanis. David, I would know you under that okay. mask any day. You probably can't you hear me that mask anywhere, any day. <laughs> he he nods. I hope I hope I'm David, translating your speech to him. Thanks. I know he probably yeah he can't hear. Well, I David David played guitar on our recording of Take Five on our Thousand Words record, and he's an amazing, wonderful human being, a wonderful musician, and it's an honor to have him with us tonight playing with Skip. So, Skip, what are you guys going to play together? We uh, we couldn't pick one song, so we're going to play uh, take five songs and mash them together into one. A medley, if you will, uh, of the holiday spirit. But I will take these headphones off and uh, grab the cello and perform to the camera and the adoring fans in this empty building. All right. I'll fill the dead air when the headphones come Thank off. Thank you. All right. Go ahead. Wait, hold on, everybody. Oh, wait, Skip, or sorry, Kevin and Lauren, you got to say woo, because Skip just said he's going to play. Woo! Wait, woo. are we supposed to say? There it is. Oh, there we go. 
Oh. Repost. Oh, listen to that reverb. Oh, wow. Skip Hit share. His natural Hold voice. On. Oh, yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, so Skip is at Dante's. For those of you who aren't in Portland, it's a legendary club here um, in Portland. And he broke in this evening with a crowbar and and some practical wisdom. And and that's that's how he got in there and he's performing there this evening for an audience of zero. Maybe the police if they arrive soon. You never know. All right, let's get out of the way. Thank you. 
Thanks so much. Work. That's with Skip and David Langanis. Thanks, you guys, so much. Skip, oh, Skip, Skip. already has got his headphones on. I was thinking I'd have to talk real fast. But thank you so much, Skip. That sounded great. Thank you so much. That little drummer boy was for Tyrone. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. For Actually, probably for your son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's, you're going to see Tekilo in just a bit, man. Hey, stay tuned. Yeah, he's coming up. <laughs> uh, he's awesome. going to be on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, thanks, David Langanis, uh, for coming down and doing this. Uh, Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Christmas albums with this guy uh, starting in 2001. And that song, uh, Take Five, was on that very first Christmas album. So. Nice. Four Christmas albums. Excellent. Nice. Crazy. Thanks so much, Skip. We'll see you again soon. Thanks. Okay. So we've got many cellists have played with Portland Cello Project over the last 10, 13, 14. How many years has it been? I don't even know. A, lo a long time. <laughs> and, um, and, you know, people move on and they move to other places and stuff like that. Um, one who played with us for many years that if you saw us play over, you know, 20, like basically from 2012 through 2017 or so, um, was Ashik Zeshik, um, uh, a Polish cellist who uh, was living in Portland at the time, and she's uh, just a wonderful person. She also played with Skip in um, in uh, in another band that he played in called Vagabond Opera and all of that. And Asha is in Berlin right now, and she sent us some videos to wish us to be a part of the show. She's played so many of these shows, so it's really nice. So we're going to play some stuff by Asha right now. You, if you, um, It's stripped down memory lane if you've seen us play in the past five years. So. Hi, I'm Asha of the project Bison Rouge, coming from Berlin, Germany. Um, I'm really excited to join this Portland Cholo Project ugly Christmas sweater show. Um, I used to play in those shows some years ago, just a few years ago. Um, so here is Hübchen. He's a tropical plant, North Folk Pine. And yeah, I try to pronounce that Hübchen. It's um, a declination, a cute name uh, for Hubert auf Deutsch. Um, I've got a song for you that um, I'm going to play. I'm pretty excited. It's a very special version of a single I'm releasing next February called Cathedral of Trees. Um, and in this version that you're not going to hear on iTunes or Spotify, there are more cello parts that I prepared specifically and only for this Portland Cholo Project winter show. Happy holidays and enjoy. Hoopshin. Hoopshin. Yeah, that's... Uh... Say it, Tyrone. Hoopshin. Hoopshin. Sagma. Sag <laughs> <laughs> now, here we go, here we go. <laughs>
Asha Gjeshik. Her project is called Bison Rouge. You can Google it or you know follow her on all the social networks. And while you're clicking those social network icons, you should share this stream. stream. Share the stream. Share, share it. The stream. Yes. I saw Kevin just repeated it back, but I didn't have a chance to click on his face <laughs> to make him come up. <laughs> um, all right. We've got Valdeen. Delny oh. Michigan, how are you doing? Oh, wait, hold on. I think I've got you muted. It's probably me. Okay. Yes, I've got you there, there you go. go. You are good. Hello. There you go. How are you doing? Great. What? Great. What a, this is an awesome a, show so far. I'm having, a, I'm digging it. Well, we're honored to have you with us. Um, oh, what a festive you. backdrop you have going on there. That's amazing. Uh, I know. I love to do it up. Uh, that, yeah, we, we do Christmas here. What, okay. what, what does your sweater say? And this says, let there be pizza. Oh, nice. <laughs> I love Whoa. the ugly sweater. I love it. That is love amazing. It. You are the winner so far. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm wearing ten. my ugly sweater um, underneath a bunch of other layers, but oh, above my layer of silk cashmere long johns. So so I bet Santa <laughs> feels really welcome when he gets down that chimney. I'm just very impressed. It's very oh, awesome. We'll see, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, what are you going to play for us tonight? So tonight is a world premiere of a piece that Nancy Ives, you just saw her play, um, she wrote this. There she is, hey. Um, this piece was commissioned for my birthday by my husband. And uh, it's based on some poetry from Ralph Waldo Emerson. And uh, if you all know, my oldest son is named Emerson. And a uh, uh, little tidbit, my uh, husband started his undergrad as a poetry major. And if you've all met him, you'll be like, oh what and uh and then there's a a little town because i'm canadian there's a little town in between um the states and what's well, in canada technically but the states and canada called emerson so it's kind of you know this is a very apropos piece so i'm excited it's called give all to love give us Give all to love. Give okay, all wait, to love. so your husband commissioned Nancy to write you a love song, and now you're playing it back to Nancy. So really, Nancy, you wrote a love yeah. song <laughs> you played back to yourself. <laughs> so strategic and, I should and say, not surprising. Give, uh, give Nancy some props, too, because um, I had previously trained. To, I almost did an undergrad in singing, and um, I hadn't done it for years and years. And uh, Nancy has started doing this singing cello thing, and I kept kind of bending her ear about it and saying, like, how do you do it? And what, you know? And um, and she wrote this amazing piece uh, for um, th for Third Angle called Black Snow, uh, Dark Ocean, and it was for singing cello. And I just fell in love with it. So I'm new to the genre, but I'm, I'm giving it a try. Nice. <laughs> hey, um, Nancy, do you have any uh, last minute words of wisdom before the world premiere of this piece that you wrote? <laughs> no, I know it'll be awesome and I can't wait to hear it. Oh, well, that's not going to make her nervous. All right. <laughs> like, I'm not already nervous, guys. I, I tried no, to set that up. But... It inspires me. It was, it was so fun oh, writing it. And I was so inspired Nancy. by... You inspire me, too. I was just, and the love, their, their love story. I mean, it was so sweet. The emails from her husband. Oh, it was so inspiring. You hacked her email? 
to write the no, song? No, no, no. He emailed me about the commission. I have to email. That's my new skill for the pandemic. <laughs> Hacking. Oh, Lord. Well, you both inspire me, as do you, Tyrone Hendricks. Um, yes, definitely. Let's see how this goes. Thanks so much. Okay, here we go. Give all to love. Nancy. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm so excited. It sounded so good. Nancy, scale of Thank one to you. ten. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it sounded great. Thanks so much, Valdi. My nice. pleasure. Yeah. Um, cool. All right. Wait, sorry, I've lost track of where we are. I got so caught up in that. I'm um oh, I know what we're doing next. Awesome. Thank you, Valdine. Have have a wonderful holiday season. It's so good to see you. We'll we'll see you. Happy again. holidays. Yep. Bye. Good one. Thank uh, uh, Nancy, how are you doing? Great. Okay. I, I'm like <laughs> I'm more nervous for that than <laughs> for. Oh really? <laughs> uh, yeah. Just because it, yeah, you know, my one of my uh, little creations now is out in the world. So. Yes. Well, congratulations. It's it's beautiful. Thank it's you. wonderful. Thanks for sharing that. Um, we, we're, we're starting to enter the phase of the program that's very Alaska centric right now, which is so Portland Cello Project, the last performance we played before all of the quarantines and lockdowns and whatever, whatever was in Alaska in early March, you know, the day before the Editorod. And, um, 
And so Tyrone and myself, we were there. A bunch of us were there. Let's see. We got Kevin was there. Yeah, Kevin, Luke, Lauren, Lauren. Was there. It looks like Skip's off the stream. Diane was there. Um, we were all, this was our last show was in Alaska. And so we're, we're going to start switching gears into that. Oh, well, Kat's there. Hi, Kat. Hi, Hi Kat in Alaska. Kat, how you doing? And I'm good. It's so great to see you all. Good to see you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you also. Thanks. <laughs> And Momentum Dance Collective is here too, but I'm not sure if they're still on the stream. So it looks like there's an empty spot if they want to log back in and join us for a little bit, but they're going to do a piece with us as well, um, also from, from Anchorage. And um, But Nancy, you've got a piece that you wrote about a glacier. It's called On the Root Glacier. And do you want to tell us a little bit about what it is? Yeah, so about a year ago, almost exactly oh. a year ago, I went up Are you to still Homer. there? Did you, did oh. you freeze? Oh, there she is. I'm here. Okay, awesome. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. So I, a, a year, exactly a year ago, ah, I played there. a concert in Homer, Alaska. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, so um, it was an art exhibit of works by Kathy Smith at the Pratt Gallery in Homer, and uh, it was called Rivers of Ice, all about glaciers. And this painting, just inspired me. I was looking um, at the the exhibit. You know, they had some pictures of the exhibit online before I went up there. So I wrote um, a piece inspired by this painting, and I ended up even sitting in front of this painting where they had me placed for the the concert in the museum, which was pretty awesome. And um, it was really well received by people up there because I was told that. It sounded just like the Bergie Seltzer. So I bet the Alaskans know what that is. Because Bergie Seltzer is the sound that um, ice bubbles that are under pressure in the glacier, when they when it melts enough that they pop into the air, they, they make this sizzling, popping sound. It's called Bergie Seltzer. Um, and so I was told that I evoked that, and it sounded like you know feet crunching on the ice, and it's got a lot of sound effects. Um, needless to say. So uh, it was just, it was wonderful, um, a wonderful experience to go up there and play a piece that was inspired by the place and see the beautiful works of art. So great memory. All right. Um, are you nervous to play this in front of actual Alaskans? Well, I, <laughs> I've done it before. Okay. So I I'm going to run to the I glacier have... right after and check and make sure that the Virga seltzer is sounding right in the I know, right? I didn't even, I just thought, I thought I'll do things like the wind whistling and the crunching of the, of your feet on snow, which I know what, I mean, I know what that sounds like, but um, I it was looks like pleasantly Becky surprised. Is in snow that, right now. Yes, she that? is. Oh, yeah, it looks right? like Becky is in snow right now. I, I am. I can only come to you live from outside our studio, so <laughs> it's a good thing I brought my hat. Sorry to interrupt you, Pat. <laughs> Yeah, we're we're actually having um, a, a rainstorm in Anchorage. We had rain today after it snowed inches and inches. So if you get interruptions from up here, there might be ice on wires and things right okay, now. Okay. It's pretty wild. But... Well, you might not believe it, but it's it's been raining here for a few days too. <laughs> Shocking! <laughs> Shocking! How it is. Got the weather up here, uh, so we're, we're really we're really feeling tied to you. Yeah, all. Anchorage Anchorage was feeling you guys. They were like, we have to rain for the PCP concert. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and Nancy's gonna play this piece, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna we're gonna play the momentum piece right after that. So, oh, oh, the there's more people in the back behind you. Yeah. So socially distant. Socially no distant driving uh, today <laughs> to watch the concert. Nice. I see kids and everything it's back so there. Good to have you guys. <laughs> so we'll 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 talk to you guys again right after Nancy's next piece. So okay. <laughs> Yay! Right. Well, I love it if, if we're bringing the Portland rain to them. Maybe that maybe they're we'll gonna... send you some snow. Please <laughs> brighten it up here a little bit. And I'm I'm I, I am a lover of snow. Yes, and, I am a lover of snow. It's kind of ironic. I mean, Ty Tyrone and I are both from very warm climates, and we're the ones outside tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're practicing for your next trip to Alaska. Yes. You got the cashmere long johns and everything. <laughs> yep. Yep. I don't love it. It's, and it's like 45 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> right, well, I hope my evocation of walking on a glacier doesn't make you even colder. <laughs> Tyrone. We will let you know, Nancy. I'm about, I'm about to stand by this fire. Not, you will not hear the end of it, if so. so. 
<laughs> all right, we'll get to that, and we'll talk to y'all in just a sec. Thanks. All right. <laughs> okay, on the root glacier.
That was awesome. I feel like I was on a glacier, even though I'm in my house. <laughs> the beginning, oh, the sounds. It's amazing what you can do with that instrument. It is just in awe. I'm, thank you. That was lovely. Thank you. Oh, wow. I'm going to bring in Sage, too, because she's from Minneapolis, and she just appeared on the stream. And so she knows what cold weather is, at least a lot better than someone from <laughs> Oakland or Honolulu does. Yeah. <laughs> Sage, how you doing? Hi, everybody. Oh. Hi. We're having some internet difficulties. So. <laughs> oh, everybody always is. That's just normal. <laughs> just right, there you go. It's good to see all of you. Good to see you, too. Good to see you. Yeah, ditto. <laughs> So I know Sage has played this next song many, many times too. We're gonna we're gonna play so momentum. So Becky is in your I should turn on the I'm not gonna bother with the overlays. Becky's wearing Santa Becky is Santa Claus. She's the artistic <laughs> director of Momentum Dance Collective. Um Kat has the best sweater at the moment. She's it's, also in Anchorage. Yeah. It's my shrunken holiday sweater. It used to actually be a legit sweater vest, and then I put it in the dryer. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't do a pizza sequin thing which uh was really cool to see the one valdina was amazing Val valdina is pretty amazing yeah definitely <laughs> and you've all met nancy in the other corner she's the one with the cello and sage is a longtime cello to portland cello project and she's right now up in washington um it's good to see you sage too um so this is the piece of music that is off of our winter album and jackie do you want to tell us a little bit about what, what we're going to watch yeah, um, hopefully you can hear me because my Wi-Fi has been spotty. But, you sound um, good. <laughs> okay, good. So this is coming to you guys from our port. The When we were thinking about what we wanted to say to our friends in Portland, we wanted to sort of just share a little love letter to you guys through dance. It's the um, the first time we made a film the, at the shutdown in March. It was sort of from our our own homes and a little passing of what we call passing the momentum of our dance to each other through our different um, living rooms. So we kind of redid that, but this time outside at our port as a little love letter to our friends in Portland. So that's what this is. Thanks. Hey, yeah. before we watch it, because everybody in Portland at least is going to be wondering, I mean, I'm wondering, you guys are, how cold was it? Um, it was just a, it was the wind more than anything. If you know, if you live by the water, you know that. Um, so I think it was like 20 degrees, but maybe Oof. 10 with the wind chill. And y'all are wearing like stuff that I would wear when it's like 60. So <laughs> <laughs> then you can't move at all. So we just had to like, oh, sure, okay. you have to dance. Go for it. I, I do have to say the videos that Momentum has made, um, yeah. these like social distant dance videos, um, the wind has really been to your advantage. It makes everything that much more dramatic, you know, just these shots of just flying hair. It's, it's really, it's yeah. yeah. It, when you don't have a lot of tech, you have to, you know, just like, <laughs> you know, to like help with the drama, I agree. Nice. Yeah, wonderful videos at Momentum Dance Collective. Do Google them and check it out, um, including, um, well, there's one with cats. Cats, yeah. one of cat songs that's just absolutely stirring. So it's Aww. great. It's been so fun to collaborate. You know, it's been such such a neat experience and Definitely. so heartwarming. It was yeah. like when we, we all first collaborated, maybe what was it like five or six years ago at this Has point? Has it been that long? Maybe. Oh. I don't know. I'm just making that up. I don't know. I was know. hoping one of you would correct me <laughs> if I was wrong. No, I think, it, I think you're right. It was some time ago. <laughs> if, if my sister is watching the stream, she should comment and let me know what year they got married because it was right before she and Kevin tied the knot. Got it. Well, congrats. It was that year. Yeah, too. <laughs> nice. All right, here's Momentum Dance Collective, and you all are going to recognize this song. This is a beautiful one. Yeah. It's my favorite one. <laughs>
Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. So beautiful. Really appreciate that. That's um, Tyrone was saying right when it started, that's his favorite song that we play. So. Oh, that's a gorgeous tune and gorgeous dancing too. Yes. Yeah, thanks, you guys. Hey, Becky, where? That was wonderful. Where was that? Was that if we like go out of our hotel that we usually stay at and just walk down that street? Is that that place? Yeah, just like straight down to the to the um, docks there, right at the edge of the water. It's the boat launch. Okay, yeah. And then like the fighter jets fly over way too often and stuff. Because the moose walk over there also. Oh, yeah. The, the moose is legendary. That's important. I was kind of wondering if the moose in the intro to the live stream was from an Alaska trip. Yes. Oh, yeah. I yes. was from the last trip. I was like, I know I that guy. That. I've seen him before. It's, it's, it's a much longer video with Tyrone's narrative, and it's quite hilarious. I'll send it to you guys. <laughs> Please do. I wish I had it loaded. I could play it. <laughs> I came down to Alaska to see a moose, and I got it within the first three hours of being there. It was beautiful. Wow. That is our third or fourth time there. It was our first time seeing a moose. So, yeah. oh. We don't just with the moose up here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Becky, thanks so much. I hope we get to see you all again soon in person. And say, please say hi to everybody. It's um, it's really so nice to connect like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we miss you guys. And um, yes, happy holidays. We're your, we're your biggest fans here at Anchorage. So when you come back, We'll dance with you soon. Yes. Yeah. That would be so great. <laughs> okay. Have a good night. You have a good one. See you. Yay. <laughs> right, sweetie. Thanks for uh, driving on the side of Studio C. <laughs> all right. And Kat, we'll see you real soon, too. We've got just a few more songs tonight for you all. Thanks so much for tuning in. Kat's going to help close us out in just a little bit. So we'll see Lovely. you soon, Kat. Hang, hang in there. Um, and uh, again, everybody, thanks so much for, for sharing the night with us. Yes. We're used to doing the show in a big concert hall and being able to do a lot of different things that we're doing. So we just tried to make the best of what we had and bring our friends together. And in some ways, maybe this should have just been a Zoom call between us. But we're glad, we're glad you're joining us. So thank you. <laughs> but you know what? We should do that. We should do a big group Zoom call before Christmas. Like, like Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Let's do it. Is everyone available? I'm, I'm looking at yes. Kevin. <laughs> that's that's kind of the litmus test kevin would you join a zoom call if we did a zoom call party yes okay he had to think about it but i'll take it <laughs> all right we're just gonna play a couple more songs for you guys um diane chaplin what have you got well i am i'm so happy with the show it's been so much fun and i'm really thrilled to be a part of it and i'm actually celebrating something today also i'm celebrating exactly to the day my four month anniversary of breaking my arm at the elbow and so the good part of that was that i didn't miss any concerts because there were no concerts and that was terrific um good time you know very good timing I've all, i'm always good with timing um and so in in commemoration of the fact that i can play uh i have written a set of variations on coventry carol which is um, a, a song that has become associated with Christmas, although it wasn't originally. It came from uh, Renaissance times when they used to do sort of during the summer in England pageants, and they would often base them on biblical stories. And so this was based on a, a kind of a dark story about King Herod hearing a prophecy that the king of the Jews was going to be born. born. Um, which is, of course, Jesus, and he ordered all of the baby boys, the Jewish baby boys, to be killed, um, and Joseph and Mary hightailed it out of, hand, out of town because they heard about this, and so this is the nativity part that connects this song to Christmas. Luckily, it turns out this story is actually not probably true. It was called the Massacre of the Innocents, and scholars say it didn't really happen, so that's the good news about the story. Um, but I think the song really reflects that, that kind of hopeful and yet dark quality in a sort of sad and mournful and then sunny and bright quality. And also I based it on the Renaissance version, which has an asymmetrical meter in it. And I just think that those things really represent the, the dark and light of this time of year. Nice. I like your optimism tonight, yeah, Diane Chaplin. Love it. <laughs> trying to be that way. Trying, trying to look forward. Sounds great. All right, here's Coventry Carol, arranged by Diane.
Pretty phenomenal. That was beautiful. Diane, you are so bad. Oh my goodness. It, it, didn't, it, it didn't even hurt. You know, that's the performance cure. Like when you're playing, it doesn't hurt. It probably will hurt later. Didn't hurt during the performance though. That's good. It, that's a really cool arrangement. Yeah, I love it. Really Thank great. Thank you. It's cool. Yeah, it's a set of variations following kind of classic variations thing. I, I really, I really enjoyed having this project to work on for this live stream. So thank you, Doug, for arranging that all for us. Yeah. Thanks for thanks for putting so much good energy into yes. it. Yes, and it's really wonderful. I, so, I, I just miss Diane so much. She just, I know. you know, do you? She just yes. takes it's over the, you know, she takes over the stage, it's you know, tie -dye. just all the time, you know. Yes. I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> oh no, that's a great thing. Trust me. Okay. Trust me. I think I think it's pretty much either Tyrone or Diane are stealing the show at any given oh, moment. No. no. <laughs> together, yes. we'll steal it together. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's really nice. Um. So Diane, so you had a broken arm. You, we, you've toured with us with a broken leg. That was rough. Yeah, I'm that done. Now we're done breaking things. So we got, we yeah. got one, one I, top, one bottom. We're done. Yeah, I would say really, if I had the the only like meaningful advice I could give you in your position is not to break bones anymore. I am so gonna try and take that advice. Okay, good. I'm glad. I'm glad that's helpful. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just really <laughs> striving for that. Okay. Are we going to hear another piece by Maya Wynn now? Here we go. This one's called Emmanuel. Fanny, Fanny, Emmanuel. Captivum sove. Go to 
once again, thank you so much to Doug and Skip and the Portland Cello Project for having me. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday season. You can actually find the two songs that we just did together on my band camp at Mayo Inn, and you can actually catch me in two days on my own YouTube channel doing another live stream show. Thanks, Maya. Uh, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. Congratulations, Congratulations Maya, again on her 53rd. Hey, Skip. I didn't even... I didn't even know I was giving her a birthday present. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I love the part. Yeah, it was, it was really, really good. good. Thanks, Thanks Skip. Pleasure. What a great, what a great stream. Uh, I've been enjoying it very much, uh, and here in an empty Dante's. <laughs> We're not even sure what's going The cops the haven't gotten you yet. Well, I'm. I, I have privileges. <laughs> <laughs> the cops, the cops are like, are like free cello music? I'm in here. <laughs> it's because of my uh, my uh, Santa <gasps> at the North Pole. Skip. Good job. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Well, we got, well, we just, got just two more two songs, songs, everybody. everybody. Skip, I'm going to pull you up because you're echoing over there. And it's hurting my brain. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, but Skip, when we pull you back on, there's an echo cancellation button. Do hit that um, that button under, under Cam and Mike. Um, Kat. Yes. Hi. <laughs> I feel like I just played a whole show. I didn't even touch a cello. <laughs> it's, like... it's so exciting. It's been so diverse. There's been so much beautiful music tonight. It's really, yeah, it's been a treat. Thanks. I thought the show would be 45 minutes and we're going on one hour and 45 minutes. So hey, <laughs> you know what they say this time of year, the more the merrier, right? That's, Isn't that yes. a holiday saying? That's yeah, that's <laughs> and that's definitely always true. Well, I mean, after I mean, don't worry, folks, two more songs and you can go back to Netflix and everything. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell me the ending of Game of Thrones. I still haven't watched it. I know I'm years behind, but oh, Kat, don't no, drop I, that in the live stream. <laughs> uh, that was that was what I watched during COVID too. So I had to fast forward through most of it because it's really <laughs> scary and violent. Oh no. Okay, so maybe I'll I should... that away. It, it is a What's... pretty intense show. <laughs> Did you watch yeah. it? Uh, Farnell got me to it just a little bit, oh, but it's pretty, oh, it's pretty intense. <laughs> I heard that it hasn't had an actual ending yet, or is that just the books and then Netflix made an ending? Netflix has an ending. Okay. Yes. Okay. It, whatever I start, it just has to have an ending or else I'll be like caught in the endless Netflix yeah. loop forever. Yeah, it had an ending. It definitely <laughs> had an ending. Yeah, yeah. It was, Good there was, it was an emotional roller coaster, much oh. like your music sometimes. So it's an oh. honor to have you with us here. It's a lovely segue. <laughs> I miss being on stage and being able to say pointless things like that. Um, <laughs> um, but I'm not going to miss having this shield that I keep banging my mic into that must yeah. be really obnoxious at home. And apologies to everybody. And to some oh, extent. no, this is this is great, though. You know, it's I, I think um, just it's a testament right now. The two of you, they're chilling, literally chilling outside so that you can keep social distance and wearing the face shield so that we can keep everybody safe is so incredible. And um, and I think, you know, thinking back to Diane's song to commemorate an injury four months later, mm -hmm. what I, I think these are the things that we need so much right now to see, you know, this this strong will in such a wild time. Thanks. It's really inspiring. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. Kat, thanks. What's one, what's one thing you're really grateful for right now? Oh my gosh. I think um, something I'm super grateful for, particularly because of these times being what they are, is just the time I've spent outside. Um, <laughs> normally in winter, I get out and I ski and I, you know, backcountry ski and I cross country ski. But this year, I have logged more miles than any other year. And I mean, half the time it's just snowshoeing with friends so that we can have a conversation. But it's mm -hmm. um, it's been really wonderful. I skied 33 miles in the past three days. Nice. Wow. Yeah. So that's why, um, yeah, maybe very mushy pedaling when I play. We'll see. No, <laughs> but at least the arms that's are still correct. I'm impressed. That's 33 more miles than I've skied in my entire life. Yeah. So, oh, so you need to come back and take a longer stay. We'll get you out on the trail. We I'd love stuff. to. That, that sounds wonderful. Thanks. Yeah, <laughs> so, we'd love to have you back. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna play this piece, Cat. So, Cat, you're gonna play a solo one, and then we're gonna play a big collaboration that has a bunch of us on it, um, uh, which is really the happiest Christmas song ever written. And then. And that's the show. And then we're going to come yeah. on and we're going to say goodbye. So that's at least that's what my iPad says over there. So you uh, did tell everybody on the thread, though, that they have to sing to the last number, right? Oh, 
No. Oh, okay. okay. We'll just let him know. So this next song, you may not know the words to. The last song, you definitely know the words to, even if it's just a very, very last part. Just sing along from home yep. if you feel so inclined. Please sing along from home. as loud. Sing out your door as loud as you can so that we can hear you all the way here in Northeast Portland. Yes. Um, that's the goal. So Excellent. All I right. think that would be wonderful to hear in Portland ringing, ringing through the streets. Let's make it so Alaska can hear us too. Thanks so much, Kat. Oh, <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Tell us, what are you going to play? Um, this is a break. Oop. And um, it's a song called Wintertime. And I was basically inspired to write it because of the freneticism of, you know, these short days and then all this outside playtime in the snow. We've had such an excellent snow year here. And um, so, yeah, so this is a song you'll kind of hear the difference between the work week and the weekend in this tune. So this is Wintertime. Thanks for listening. It's been snowing since the first of November Or if the sun makes light I cannot remember how it feels In the winter time It's winter time Days slide by like rogue avalanches With busy lives I wonder What are the chances we'll see the sun Before the day is done it's winter time But we'll wander dreamily Beneath the skies all draped in gray So surreal, how can it be? Less than a month till New Year's Eve Snipping noses around the town Sliding through the alpine glow Blacks and rings all turn to blue Snow eyes are <laughs> deep drifts blow And powder sprays A landscape from a dream come true in the winter time, it's winter time. It's winter time. It's winter time. It's always cooler in the winter time. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much, Kat. Thank you so much. Oh, thanks for having me. <laughs> we were just remembering when you came to Portland and sang Radiohead with us. Oh, and... so much fun. <laughs> yeah, it's good stuff. <laughs> All right. Are you ready for Happy Christmas? Have you seen the video yet? Um, Once. Okay, okay. Just so, once. So Kat sent us a video <laughs> of her playing piano for the song. It's a piece by John Lennon, and you know it. It's just it just really brings the holiday spirit to um, its realistic conclusion. And um and we got all the cellists to play on it a little bit. And so yeah. here you go. Happy Christmas. So this is Christmas. And what have you done? Now the year over. just begun So this is Christmas And I hope you have fun The near and the dear one And the old and the young Have a very merry Christmas
That was awesome. Everyone, yeah. So great. Singing with you. <laughs> nice. That was lovely, and I love who, whoever threw in that beautiful seventh at the end. Ooh, major seventh. Oh, oh your seventh. I should have known it was Diane. Beautiful. <laughs> copy what you wrote. Yeah, well, Doug wrote it, though. Oh, <laughs> I just played it. What a beautiful arrangement. It's so much fun. And like, can I just say, on behalf of all Alaskans, thank you so much for traveling up here to come and perform for us here in Alaska. Man, it's anytime. Really anytime. Yeah. It, it was so great. It was the last time we played together. <laughs> Yeah. Is yeah. that that was literally the last show? It was, and that's why it keeps oh coming goodness. up. <laughs> that's wild. Like every live stream we've done, we talk about Alaska pretty much. So, well, we'll have to get you back here as soon as things blow over. So, yeah. Thanks so much, and thanks everybody. Thanks for tuning in, and thanks to all the cellists for taking part, and just everybody. It's really good to see everybody. Tyrone, thank you for hosting. Oh, no yeah. problem. No problem. Good seeing everybody too. Not for everybody that was able to join in on the on the live stream and you know just praying you know this holiday season for everybody you know for the families that have had loved ones that have uh, transitioned during this time. So you know we just want to make sure that we take our time to pray for them and you know just continue to love on each other through these uh, through these crazy times. So Definitely. yeah, can't have enough love right now for sure. Yeah, thanks. Love on. Yeah. yeah, let's um, we're, we're gonna have a right? Zoom after party, but probably not tonight because everybody wants to go watch their Netflix shows or addicted to, <laughs> and then <laughs> we'll do one or soon. eat dinner. <laughs> oh yeah, that too. Yeah, and then you know what I love about Portland Cello Project shows is they're always over at like eleven or so, ten thirty tonight, eight o'clock. Let's do it. This is, this is <laughs> perfect. It's my schedule. <laughs> um. Yeah, well, let's all get together. Let's try to let's try to set that up and do that over the next week or so for the holidays. It's really, really yeah, good to see so everybody. Fun. I'm so used to seeing you all, you know, 100 days out of the year or so. And so this is really like this is the longest I haven't seen Kevin Jackson in probably a decade, like in one time. So, yeah. <laughs> Same yep, here. Sure. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. Um, good night. Good night, everybody. Oh, wait, we have a conclusion. Yeah, we have a conclusion. All yeah. right, we started we started the stream with Audra as the opening band. We've got the Kylo as the closer. I got to figure out how to do this. It's going to take me a second. But um, Tyrone, you want to give a little intro of what's going on here? Yeah, my 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 ten year old son to Kylo is going to uh, perform a song for you guys. So um, sweet. Yeah, stay tuned. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. Thanks again, everybody. Thank Thanks you so much. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, we can't hear it. Oh no. No, the quietness. You can see he's grooving. All right, we'll figure this out. <laughs> Sorry, all. A screen within a screen within a screen. We Who's cool effects. We might need to just share the link because I don't know how to make that work. We don't have the original video file like we do for all the others and it was on YouTube and I was trying to share my screen, but um so everybody look for the link to Takilo jamming on Nutcracker. Um oh, it's really quite Mr. quite good. Nutcracker. And um uh -huh. With that, though, I guess we're just going to wish you all a uh, happy holidays and a good night. So thank you all so much. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Everybody. Happy holidays.